Hey guys and girls, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can quickly set up an ambient occlusion render using the render layer manager. This is really easy to do. So I've got this simple scene with three spheres sitting on a polygon plane here. And to find our render layers we need to come to the channel box and along the bottom here we've got three tabs, display, render and atom. Obviously we want the render as we're using render layers. And you can see we have just one layer in here at the moment. Now this is the layer that everything is created on by default and if I hit render you'll see that everything just has a default shader assigned to it at the moment. What we want to do is we want to add a new layer with all the objects that we want to have occlusion on them. So we select all of our objects and I'm just gonna I'm gonna deselect one of the spheres just to show you how this works. And I'm gonna come over to the right just in the render layer tab. I'm gonna select create new layer and assign selected objects and you see it's created a new layer and when I select this layer you notice it's only got the objects that I had selected in it I'm going to rename this layer just to make it easier to find a little later on so I'm going to call it AO underscore layer now to make this an ambient occlusion layer I need to right click and come to attributes and as we can see Maya with its many many bugs has given the attributes for something else in our case one of the polyspheres but right next to it we can see the AO layer that we just created. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to come to the presets at the top on the right and just select occlusion. Now you see everything's gone dark. This is actually just because it's assigned a surface shader to all the objects that are in that layer. And now if I hit render you can see the two spheres that are in that layer on the plane with an occlusion render on it. If we come back to the master layer our third sphere reappears and if we hit render from here you can see it's not actually assigned the surface shader in this layer. So this is actually really useful and you can set Maya up to render both these layers out at the same time. So coming back to our ambient occlusion layer if you, as you can see from the render you can see the quality was a little bit low and it took 10 seconds to render. So we can increase the quality of the ambient occlusion. I'm just going to save that image. But this will of course cause our render times to go down. So I'm going to right click and select the material attributes of one of the objects in our AO layer. And under the surface shader where it says out color, I'm going to select the output, which is this MIB ambient occlusion one. And I can increase the samples. So I'm going to increase that to 256 let's say. And now when I hit render you can see the quality of the render has now got a lot better but the render time that actually took 55 seconds to render this time. I hope you found that useful and don't forget to subscribe for all my latest videos. See you later.